السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته boys and girls my respected elders welcome اهلا وسهلا to مدرسة TV show that got just a little bit late due to traffic but I'm here welcome boys and girls welcome today inshallah ta'ala we're going to have a lot of fun inshallah on this show we are going to be learning a lot of exciting and interesting things boys and girls just before just because we are late a little bit doesn't mean this show is not going to uh, have a lot of interesting things that you're waiting for Today on Madrasa TV show, we are going to learn about a Muslim world. We're going to learn about a place where there are loads of Muslims that live. And we are going to learn a very important dua. In our Tajweed segment today, inshallah ta'ala, me and Bunny, we've decided to teach you, inshallah ta'ala, Surah Al-Fatiha again with Tajweed. I'm doing Surah Al-Fatiha one more time, inshallah, to give all of you a chance to recite. Surah Al-Fatiha is an easy surah, so make sure you guys call in to recite. Those of you watching me live on YouTube, guys, hit the like, share, subscribe button. Come on, guys, inshallah, we're going to have a lot of fun. Those of you who want to recite, the number is on the screen. We have a WhatsApp number, we have a line line number. You can call us of either one of these numbers and recite with us so you can get some feedback on your recitation. I'm literally hitting the share button here so no one says, Ustad, I thought there was no show and you didn't tell me there's a show. There we go, I'm just sharing it, inshallah ta'ala. Let's go, boys and girls, may Allah bless you, let's go. Straight to our first segment, and that is going to be a segment where we have to fly to a different location. Boys and girls, let's go! Welcome. Have a look. Today, we're learning about a particular country here, but I want to see how many of you know. Which country does this flag belong to? This country is gifted with a lot of things and we're going to learn about it inshallah ta'ala. You're going to learn some very interesting facts about this country. So let's start with this once again. Once again, which country does this flag belong to? Let's see your answers boys and girls. Let's see your answers. Let's see who got the answer there. Aha! I'm receiving some of the answers there mashallah tabarakallah. I need to see more answers. I want to see who got the right one there. Wa alaykum as salam. Wa alaykum as salam. Anyone here on YouTube? Boys and girls, this is. This is. No, not Maryam. This is, boys and girls. This is. Indonesia. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. I'm sure we have some people who watch this show from Indonesia. There's about. 30 of you live right now. I'm sure one of you knows someone who lives in Indonesia. Okay, I'm going to keep it off, inshallah. Boys and girls from Indonesia. Okay. Ahlan wa sahlan. In Indonesia, they say afa khabar, means how are you? We are going to learn about the population of Indonesia. We are going to learn about the capital city of Indonesia. And we are also going to learn about the language that people speak in this specific region or country but if i open the map real quick indonesia must be very massive and huge because a lot of people live there right well i would assume the same thing but it looks like uh, uh, that's not the case if this is where we are zoom out yes look where indonesia is hmm. you guys want some ice <laughs> indonesia can you guys see? It's here. And Indonesia is not even this. It's not even this, what you see in the middle of the screen. It's actually slightly to the side. Where is it? Where is it gone? Where is it gone? Where is Indonesia gone? Huh? There. These islands. This is where Indonesia is. It's literally an island. Small one. Now take this... Indonesia here, yeah? Although it looks like there's a few different countries here, so I'm just going to draw the border. 
of Indonesia. Looks like this is what Indonesia is like. Yeah? Or could, it could be that some of these islands belong to Indonesia. This is not Indonesia, it's a separate country. And I want you to now compare this. Indonesia, do you see where Indonesia is right in the middle of the screen? Compare it to Australia. See how huge Australia is? But guess where, <laughs> which country is more populous, if that's the right word? Which country is more full of people? Australia or Indonesia? You'll be surprised, guys. It's actually Indonesia. People, way more people live in Indonesia compared to Australia, although Indonesia is so small when it comes to the land. It's like such a small piece of land. Subhanallah. Huh? So, let's see how many people live in Indonesia. Boys and girls, there are about over 275 million. Two, over 275 million. You know what that means, guys? So, one million looks like this. When it comes to world population, million is not really that big of a number because the actual population of this world is not one, two, three, it's seven billion. Now, how do we get to 7 billion from 1 million? You have to add 1,000 millions, yeah, to make 1 billion. Are you guys with me? So you have to go get 1,000 millions to get 1 billion. Once you get to 1 billion, you get 7 of them, and then that's 7 billion. Hope I'm making this easy. Now, Indonesia is 275 million. That's quarter of 1 billion. So if the entire world population is this much, and this is just 1. Okay, let's try to make this easy. If the entire world population is 1 billion multiplied by 7, then we take this 1 billion and we divide it into 4 parts and we get the population of Indonesia. So that means that's a quite a lot of people. Quite a lot of people. It can also mean 7, multiply 4, 28. 1 in every 28 people in this world are Indonesian. Am I making it easy or harder? So every 28 people that you see, one of them is from Indonesia. Do we see a lot of Indonesian? There's certain countries you'll see a lot of Indonesian, but there's certain countries you won't see a lot of Indonesians there, subhanAllah. But there we go, huge, huge, gigantic population there. Now, let's see the capital. The capital is Jakarta. What's the capital, guys? Jakarta. Let's see if we can find it on the map. Go back to Indonesia. Can we find our capital here? Capital, Indonesia. Can you guys see it? Oh, I'm just thinking, where would I even find Jakarta? Indonesia. Keep zooming in. Did you guys find it? Can you guys see it? No, I see everything but Jakarta. Wuwuni Iceland. Maniwi. Kabina Iceland. Huh. Bau Bau. Well, that's interesting. So where is the capital? Where is capital, guys? Looks like we can't even find the capital. Okay, let me just quickly type it in then. Jakarta. Jakarta. Looks like we found it, guys. Aha! Extraordinary, but it looks like we found Jakarta. Here. Here. Okay, let's keep zooming out, yeah, so we can remember. This is Jakarta. Aha! Whoa, 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 whoa. So Indonesia is here and Jakarta is here. That's interesting. That's Jakarta, the capital. But then on the map it says Indonesia is there. Okay, that's funny. You guys see that? Okay, so it looks like Indonesia is, is not 
just this piece of iron, it looks like it's spread all across. Oh. Okay. This is a different country, Brunei. This is not Indonesia. And that's Malaysia there. Malaysia, Singapore, you see these are different countries here, yeah? okay. Wow, very interesting. Countries like spread everywhere. Okay, so that's Indonesia. And the language that people speak there is of course, oh, sorry, I thought maybe it's Indonesian language, is Bahasa Indonesian language. Now, do you want to know a very interesting fact about Indonesia? Look at this. Indonesia is the world's fourth most populous country and the world's most popular Muslim nation. So if you have one country where we have most amount of Muslims in this world, it would be Indonesia. Now I'm interested to know percentage, percentage of Muslims in Indonesia. Subhanallah, it's saying here, huh, according to Ministry of Religious Affairs, in 2022, uh, in Indonesia, about 87% of the population of Indonesia identify themselves as Muslims. It means there are some people who are not Muslims who live in Indonesia, just like any country, by the way. So how many? 87% of people who live in Indonesia are Muslims, which means from every 10 people that you see in Indonesia, eight of them are Muslims. Quite a huge number then. Okay. Um, so there we go. That's the biggest uh, country, biggest population of Muslims in a single country, and that is Indonesia. You'd be surprised if you, if I tell you what's the second biggest population of Muslims in which country. It's not even a Muslim country. Well, that's for another day when we learn it. So there we go, boys and girls. Let's learn a few other interesting things about Indonesia. Aha, Istiqlal Mosque is one of the biggest masajid in Indonesia. Istiqlal Mosque. And it is located in Jakarta. Let's have a look, inshallah ta'ala, at Istiqlal Mosque. Boys and girls, few images of Istiqlal Mosque. Here is one. To me, it looks like a very, very plain, a simple masjid. Although from inside, I'm sure it looks beautiful. Or maybe there must be a nice architectural design to it. Mm, this is quite a blurred image. Wish I could show you this one. Just looking for a few other beautiful images of Istiqlal Mosque. I'm sure there are videos. But okay, that's how it looks like at night. Looks quite decent. Beautiful, I mean. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. All right. So that is Istiqlal Mosque, yeah? Um, I'm sure it can, uh, easily 50,000 people, let's say, huh, can fit in this masjid. I'm sure, I'm sure. Aha, uh -huh. here's an image of Istiqlal Mosque from far, and now we can see how big it is, really. So what you guys, okay, so there's a massive dome there, and a massive minar all the way on this side, but you can see there's a massive open area here, so people can pray outside. And that happens in a lot of country, people just pray in an open area. So masjid doesn't really have to be just a building. I'm sure you've seen uh, images of huh? Mecca and Medina, Masjid al-Haram and Masjid al-Nabawi. All right, if I ever go to Indonesia, what would I eat? Beef, radang, and nasi, jurung. Now you guys can have nasi jurung, I'll have beef, radang, which looks like beef. MashaAllah. All right, boys and girls. Uh, although I'm not hungry, I just uh, got uh, far hungry right now. The other interesting facts about Indonesia, guys. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to ask, I'm going to ask you guys to find some interesting facts about Indonesia and drop them in the comments. Yeah, drop them inshallah ta'ala. Um, I'm looking at some of the interesting facts here. Yeah. Um, Okay, looks like a lot of people in Indonesia use social media. That's not really interesting, okay. Um, Indonesia have, has over 600 ethnic groups. So you might be thinking, if it's in an island, people are there and most of them are Muslim, it means 
they're probably all the same. No, there's 600 different ethnic groups, which means there are 600 different people from different parts of the world who have different, completely different identities and all the rest of it, subhanAllah. So that's huge. 600 is a massive number, yeah? And uh, let's see, what else? What else do we know about Indonesia that is interesting? Right, right, right. I'm sure there are other facts as well, inshallah. Um, it's a big country when it comes to population. Um, okay, I thought Saudi, someone said, Yahya said hi. Boys and girls, what we're going to do as an activity, quickly, we're going to recap this segment. We're going to draw the flag of Indonesia. Now, any flag that you draw, uh, you've got to remember, of course, it's a rectangle. And then the flag of Indonesia is so, so, so simple. Do you guys remember it? Literally red, and you leave the rest huh, white. So you'll be coloring this part of the flag red. And leave the rest white. Boys and girls, may Allah bless you. Okay. We're now going to take a short break, and when we come back, inshallah ta'ala, we will continue. We have another segment where we are going to learn a dua, and I'm going to be teaching you, inshallah ta'ala, some Quran and some Tajweed. Those of you watching live on YouTube, guys, don't hesitate. Come on, hit that like, share, subscribe button, so we can reach out to more people, so they can learn, and so we can have a lot of fun, inshallah ta'ala. Boys and girls, let's go, inshallah ta'ala, for a short break. Uh, draw Indonesian flag, and then send it to me on the WhatsApp number. <laughs> Make sure you add your name so it doesn't look too boring. And maybe add some fun facts about Indonesia around, uh, around the flag. Maybe write the name of the capital. We'll be back after a short break. Stay with us. Assalamu
Welcome back, boys and girls, to Madrasa TV show. I've got a very important dua to teach you. Before we do that, boys and girls, our last segment is Quran and Tadweed segment. I'll be teaching you Surah Al-Fatiha with Tadweed, and I want to hear your recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha with Tadweed. So call me in and recite. You can call us on two numbers. We have a WhatsApp number, we have a landline number. Call in now, call in nice and early so I can hear your recitation, give you some feedback, inshallah ta'ala. But you gotta call me in right now. Boys and girls, we have uh, some of the callers on the line. Shall we speak to them? Assalamu alaikum. Very well, Alhamdulillah. And how are you, Ali? Ali, how was your Ramadan? Yes. You know what? I was like, I was like, may Allah please get you to the studio on time before o'clock. May Allah accept your dua, so I'm never ever late, inshallah ta'ala. Ali, we're going to get you to recite Surah Al-Fatiha, inshallah ta'ala, but that is going to be in a while. So stay with us uh, in a few minutes, actually. I'm going to teach you guys a dua, then we can come back and listen to some recitations and their recite, some reciters and their recitations. So let's go straight to our dua segment. Mm -hmm. Do you guys ever think, what's the worst that can happen? A lot can happen, guys. But sometimes your mind goes there, what's the worst that can happen? What if it happened? What, what if it happened? Can you prevent it from happening? You can. If you read this dua, then you can. Because the Prophet taught us something amazing and he said, if there is something that can change taqdeer is dua if you ask Allah then there might be some problem coming your way and Allah will change it away subhanallah so boys and girls we'll be teaching you a very important dua today I want you to pay attention and read it with me first if any of the callers want to read this dua can we get them inshallah ta'ala to read it with us Allahumma inni أعوذ بك من زوال نعمتك وتحول عافيتك وفجاءة نقمتك وجميع سخطك الله أكبر والله I seek refuge in you against the declining of your favors. <sighs> Allahu Akbar. Passing of safety. The suddenness of your punishment and all that which displeases you. Allah al -Musta'an. This is the worst that can happen to you. And of course you might hear or think, no, 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 if I have this, if I have that, but if, if I have so much money, no, 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 no. The worst that can happen, that Allah Azza wa Jal, Take all the favors he have bestowed upon you away. From your health, from your wealth, family, nice. Well, Allah takes it away from you. And all of a sudden you feel unsafe. And the sudden punishment. And the fact that Allah is not pleased or happy with you. Because Allah can test you and he can take something away from you. Well, that can be a test. It could be because Allah loves you. But when Allah is to take something from you and He is upset from you and He is trying to teach you something, that is something you should seek refuge in Allah from. Now, of course, we all make mistakes. We're humans. But if you say this dua, then Allah wouldn't allow you to go and do something hmm, where Allah will decline His favors on you and you feel completely unsafe and suddenly Allah is Sending you his punishment, he's angry from you. And this is why when you find yourself in a problema, uh -huh, how do you guys say problema? In a problem, what do you do? What do you do, guys? You give sadaqah. Because it could be that Allah is really angry from you, and so you give sadaqah, and when you give sadaqah, what happens? And you do istighfar, astaghfirullah al al azim not just a little bit, a lot of it. And the salawat on the beloved alayhi salatu wassalam. Do you love Quran, salah, dua? 
And that can change a lot. But you can understand that it is all from Allah. So, the few words here that I really want you to learn. The first one here is ni'mah. Ni'mah, anything. It's like a favor of Allah Azza wa on you. Ni'mah. Next, afiyah. Guys, write these words. You want to ask for these things from Allah Azza wa Jal. Afiyah. Next, niqmah. Niqmatik. Niqmah. And then we have sakhat. Oops, I forgot to do that. These four words. Ni'mah, blessing or favors of Allah. Afiyah, which means a good health. And then you have sakhat of Allah, which means anger. And ni'mah means what? Punishment. May Allah bless you all and may Allah accept this dua from us. Let's say this dua one more time. Allahumma, inni a'udhu bika min zawali ni'matik wa tahawuli May Allah bless you boys and girls. We're now going to go to our next segment where we are going to be learning some surah of Quran together and that is going to be surah the fact. Let's go. Boom. Guys, Surah the fatiha today I'll be teaching you this surah and I'm going to highlight some tajweezals for you. We have some callers who are ready to recite. I want you to be one of them. Give us a call right now. Let me hear your recitation and let me recite Surah al fatiha first. Pay attention to everything you see in this surah here on the screen in green. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. Boys and girls, let's go straight to our first caller before we do that. بسم الله وسبحان الله رحمة وسبحان الله رحمة نستعين وسبحان الله and we also have إهدينا, which is also a whispering letter. First caller, but in the next segment. Salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum. Very well, Alhamdulillah, Ali. Let's get you to recite straight away. Okay, inshallah. Any muds? Only in the last ayah. Okay, inshallah. A'udhu billahi minash. Shaitan Rajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Maliki Yawmid Deen 
Ali gets a go back. Let's not bounce rain when you say Maghdubi. Next call, Assalamu Alaikum. Jazakumullahu khairun, Ustad. May Allah bless you. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. You can start immediately. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir majeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله تبارك الله an extraordinary bad next call السلام عليكم عليكم السلام you can start Yusuf immediately okay أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين صدق الله العظيم what a beautiful, beautiful show. May Allah bless you all. Guys, call me in tomorrow and recite as well, inshallah ta'ala. Remember, you have a chance to call and recite every single day. And I want you guys to call in every day. Tomorrow we'll be looking at Surah Al-Nas, which is the last surah of the Quran. Easy surah. We'll be seeing you all tomorrow, inshallah ta'ala, at four boys and girls. Remember me in your du'as. And until tomorrow, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. <laughs>